We present generalization through imitation, an imitation learning method that can generalize to new tasks by learning from a fixed set of human demonstrations. It takes a lot of data for robots to learn to perform manipulation tasks, even for grasping or stacking, which are short horizon tasks. But we know that imitation learning can be sample efficient. In prior work, a handful of human demonstrations have been used to train a robot to perform different skills. However, it is difficult to generalize beyond the tasks shown in the human demonstrations. Our goal is to enable imitation learning to generalize to new tasks from a fixed set of human demonstrations. Consider the setup here. In the first task, the bread starts in this container, and the robot needs to remove the purple lid, retrieve the bread, put it into this green bowl, and then serve it on the plate. In the second task, the bread starts on the table, and it needs to be placed in the green bowl, and then put into the oven for baking. We provide the robot with demonstrations of both tasks. Note that both tasks require the robot to place the bread in this green bowl. In other words, these task trajectories intersect in the state space. The robot should be able to generalize to new start and goal pairs by choosing different paths at the intersection, as shown in the picture. We Our key insights are, multitask domains often contain task intersections. It should be possible for a policy to generate new task trajectories by composing training tasks via the intersections. We but how do we encourage the policy to generate diverse rollouts? First, if we naively train imitation learning policies on the demonstrated data of the two tasks, the policy tends to collapse to a particular goal, as indicated by red arrows in the picture. Second, there's a large amount of spatial temporal variations from the human demonstrations on a real robot. To get a better idea of how to encourage your policy to generate diverse rollouts, let's take a closer look at the task space. If we want to start in this state and try to set a goal for a policy to achieve, According to the demonstrated data, the goal can be modeled by a Gaussian distribution. However, if we start at the intersection, the goal could spread across the two tasks. It will be better for us to model the goal distribution with a multimodal Gaussian distribution. Based on this observation, we design a hierarchical policy learning algorithm where the high-level planner captures the distribution of future observations in a multimodal latent space and the low-level policy conditions on the latent goal set by the planner to fully explore the space of demonstrations. In stage one, we train a conditional variational autoencoder that attempts to learn the distribution of future image observations conditioned on current image observations. The latent space is regularized with a Gaussian mixture model prior, encouraging a multimodal distribution of future image observations. The low-level controller conditions on these multimodal latent subgoals and is trained to imitate the demonstrations. In stage two, we use a stage one policy to collect a handful of self-generated diverse rollouts by using the GMM prior to generate latent subgoals for the low-level controller. The diversity captured in the GMM prior ensures that the stage one policy will ex exhibit different behaviors at trajectory intersections, resulting in novel trajectories with unseen start and goal pairs. We present generalization is then used to train a new goal-directed policy that can perform intentional behaviors from these undirected rollouts. We use a phone teleoperation interface to collect human demonstrations. We collect 50 demonstrations for each of the two tasks, and the data collection takes less than an hour. Here we show the final results. We ask the robot to start from the initial state of one task, bread and container, and reach the goal of the other task, which is to put the bread in the oven. We emphasize that the policy is performing closed loop visual motor control at 20 Hz purely from image observations. Note that this task requires accurate, contact rich manipulations. With only visual information, our method can perform intricate tasks such as grasping, pushing the oven tray into the oven, or manipulating a constrained mechanism like closing the door of the oven. Our policy is very reactive and can quickly recover from errors. In this case, the policy failed to grasp the bread twice and finally succeeded the third time. It also made two attempts to get a good grasp of the bowl and complete the task successfully. Here, we show the multimodal subgoals captured by our planner at the task intersection. Each picture corresponds to a mode in the GMM prior. This shows that our model captures both spatial temporal variations and cross task variations. Thanks for watching.